how would you describe Derek? <laughs> well, Derek is uh, security, but he's also my security blanket. <laughs> Derek is uh, one of the nurse managers at UNC Hospital and then does security for Roy Williams. I started with uh, Coach Dean Smith for the first three years. And then Guthridge, Doherty, and now with Roy Williams. It is a very good relationship and it lasts about 45 seconds at a time is what it is. We have little rituals that we go through. When, uh, when I come out of the locker room, Derek and Saul meet me there at the tunnel and I always say hello, shake hands with both of them beforehand. And, uh, he's very aware of what's going on if people are trying to stop me as I'm going out. And he's helped me a couple of times, you know, at halftime, not go after an official, say, uh, Coach, we'll be better off if we go to the locker room, <laughs> that kind of thing. But uh, Derek is a guy that doesn't just do a job. It's a passion, it's a life with him. And uh, every time I see him, it's, uh, uh, it brings this warm feeling and brings a smile to your face, and that's a pretty good legacy to have. What's it like being married to a Tar Heel? Crazy Tar Heel at that, yes. Um... This is Derek's man cave. It has all of his Carolina stuff in it. Got autographs, of course, um, Coach Williams and Coach Dean Smith. Don't know if I even know all the autographs. <laughs> Vince Carter, Antoine Jameson, James Michael McAdoo, Raymond Felton, Field Ford, Michael Jordan, you got Michael Jordan autograph, you got replicas of all the rings from the from the last four championships except for 1957. Um, it's kind of hard to find a ring replica from 1957, but I'll find it. Of course, we got the big fat head up there. It's definitely a centerpiece of the room. It catches people's attention when they walk by. And it's nice because I can find myself in the picture. I know he's like Carolina crazy, but he's like 10 times that to his kids. I don't even know if you can measure it, but. Oh, he's the most amazing man ever. Um, just the way he loves his kids. He just is an amazing father. I think he is a caring person. He takes whatever he's doing very seriously. Sometimes Derek will actually, when he's, he'll be back in the tunnel waiting to come out with the team, and he will see Ramsey's and he'll FaceTime me, and the kids will get to see Ramsey's and they're so excited about that. I would say my dad's caring and gentle, nice. He's very funny. He likes to crack jokes all the time. People are always laughing at him for one reason or another. And for me to see him in my workplace and then to see him in his workplace at the hospital, you do see that he is a caring individual and a guy that enjoys people. Man, everybody loves him, knows him. I feel like if you just walk down the hospital and stop somebody, you'd be like, do you know Derek Woods? They'd know him in some capacity. Uh, in September, a year and a half ago, I went in to have uh, uh, kidney surgery. They thought I had cancer at that, at that point, and they needed to remove a tumor. I remember we went up there really early. Uh, you know, there were some uh, media people that were hearing about it and the whole bit, and uh, so we went in the back way, and all of a sudden, there's Derek. Uh, and again, it's that comfort feeling that he, that he gives you. It's strange because we have this relationship that we walk, you know, 150 feet out on the court and we walk back and then we do it again, <laughs> you know, and then I won't see him again until the next game. But it is a special bond and uh, it's something that I appreciate and it's uh, something that uh, I hope he lasts as long as I last. <laughs> Game day is a long day. Um, I usually get there eight hours before the game starts. I sit in the back and sort of secure the area near the locker rooms and check in and out media and make sure that all the media people have the right credentials. Then two hours before the game starts, I go change into the suit and then I just wait for Coach Williams and the team to run onto the court and then from that point on, wherever Coach Williams go, I go. Last thing I say is uh, go out there. Well, let's see, see what we got. You know, let's throw it up and see what happens, or something like that. And he'll always say, "Oh, it's going to be good, coach. It's going to be good."
great friend. I appreciate what you do, and I'm sure that everybody that works with you at the hospital does as well. Uh, it's been an amazing ride, and, and, I, and I hope we're not finished. Um, you're just as passionate as you were the day you walked in that place, and I'm just proud to be a part of it.